Welcome to Technology FAQ. I'm Herock and today we are going to make this beautiful stack of cards and when you click the cards they will jump to the back position. So let's begin. First of all create a new project in VS Code or you can use any text editor you want and then create a new file index.html should be index.html then uh, then uh, style.css and script.js and then we'll go to the index.html file and then we'll put generate some broiler plate and let's give this a name of stack of cards okay then in the body section let's uh, create a div element with a class of stack and then inside it let's create five divs with a class of card will be one let's give it two three four five let's save it and open it with vs code i am using this extension called live server you can download it from the extensions then uh, say control shift p or live open live server open with live server okay so here is the card now we'll go to our now let's first link the css file then let's link the javascript file crpt script dot js and let's give it a uh, attribute of default Okay, now we go to style.css. Now let's put some basic CSS that is margin zero, padding zero, a mini reset you can say. And then for the body, let's give a background property, background, and the URL. Let's insert an image. The URL is it is an art uh, unsplash. I've got this image from unsplash unsplash.com. Then say background background repeat no repeat then background size cover. let's say background image okay now now let's design the stack stack say with 500 pixels and the height of 500 pixels then we'll give it a position of relative okay then we'll design our card first of all let's give it a background color color of white okay then give it a width of 80 percent then minimum height minimum height of 40 percent then position will be absolute 
then the top of 50% bottom or left 50% okay now we we'll use transform translate minus 50% comma minus 50% okay now it's centered now you give it a display of grid then you justify content to the center and uh, align items to be center okay now we have border radius radius of 2 rem then font family will be sans sans serif then we'll give it a font size of 10 rem then let's change the font color uh, color to black with some transparency okay then let's give it a box shadow shadow of 0 5 pixels 10 pixels 0 and 40 comma save it then let's give another shadow will be 0 15 px 20 px 0 hash 0 0 0 0 0 0 20 okay then let's do the transition transition of 200 milliseconds uh, let's apply transition on the transform property only transform property and 200 milliseconds okay now we'll select the first card card nth last child one This is only the first card, so it will be. Let's give it a variable y calc minus fifty percent plus fifteen px pixels. Okay, transform. translate minus 50 percent comma now we'll use the variable dash dash y i'm using variable now we'll put a scale of 1.05 okay now let's copy this copy this and let's paste it now we'll select the second card the last second card and uh, we don't need this plus 15 pixels we'll uh, change this scale to 1 then we now we'll select the third card we need this uh, it should be minus 15 pixels and then this one will be 0 0.95 okay now we will select all the cards from the um, fourth one 
and it will be minus 30 px minus 30 pixels and scale will be 0 0.9 okay and for this one we'll put a box shadow of shadow 0 0 1 pixel 1 pixel 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 3 then okay now let's go to the javascript part first of all we want the card 1 the first card to display it here so uh, with javascript let's say first let's select the stack let let stack is equal to document dot query selector dot dot stack okay now let's convert the children in stack dot children with the help of the spread operator will convert these HTML nodes into an array then we'll reverse the array we'll reverse the array and then for each of the item what we'll do is let's say I then say stack dot append I see now as you can see the the one uh, now we have rearranged the cards then say stack dot at event listener we'll add an event listener to the stack click and when the stack will be clicked we'll run a function called swap okay now let's define the swap function now let's select the the first the first card so we'll say let card is equal to document dot query selector dot card anath no need to writing anath we'll say last child child now say if event let's uh, pass an event here e so if event dot target is not equal to card then we will just end the function now we'll say card dot style animation is equal to swap 700 milliseconds and it will be four words okay then say set timeout we'll pass a function here callback function and uh, this will be we'll give it time of 700 milliseconds so we'll say card dot style dot 
style dot animation will remove the animation after 700 milliseconds and the stack will prepend the card now as you can see after 7 seconds but the animation is not there so we'll define the animation in CSS so we'll go to style.css and, and below and below everything we'll write at keyframes swap swap was the name or uh, animation name we'll write 50% at 50% of the animation will be transform translate minus 50% comma calc so there will write var that is y minus 250 pixels the stack was 500 pixels so we are given here 250 pixels and then say scale of 0 0.85 and rotate and rotate minus 5 degree and animation timing function animation timing function will be easy okay now for hundred percent we'll write transform let's copy it transform we'll remove the rotate then we'll put a scale will be same here it will be not minus 250 it will be minus 15 and that's and uh, we'll put a z index z z index of minus one so that's it now let's try it okay but as you can see uh, the animation looks jaggy for okay now let's fix it so it will be uh, here transition transform okay I misspelled it transform now see it's smooth so that's it guys i hope you like the video if you enjoyed what you saw then uh, hit the like button and and if you're not subscribed yet you should subscribe to my channel right now and hit the bell icon to receive notifications about each and every new video that i post see you in the next video